Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at how you can install the new Windows 11 22H2 update on unsupported hardware. To get started, download the media creation tool from GitHub, then navigate to Microsoft.com and download a copy of the Windows 11 22H2 installation ISO. Before I apply the patch to allow me to bypass TPM and secure boot checks, I'll run the 22H2 setup and you'll see that it errors out because I don't meet the hardware requirements. You'll see in the output that the VM I'm trying to update doesn't meet the secure boot or TPM requirements. Now I'll close out of the setup and navigate back to my downloads directory. Extract the media creation tool zip file we downloaded from GitHub. Navigate into the extracted folder, then into the bypass 11 directory. Right click on the skip tpm check bat file and run it as administrator. The script doesn't take any time at all to complete, then press any key to close the command prompt. Now navigate back to the downloads directory and double click the 22h2 installation ISO to mount it, then run setup.exe. Click the Change How Setup Downloads Updates option and select Not Right Now, then click Next. With the Bypass script now installed, I'm able to get through the 22H2 setup. Step through the setup wizard as normal, then click Install. At this stage, it's just a matter of letting the Windows setup install the update. The system will reboot several times during the process. Once the update's applied successfully, you'll be returned to a login screen. Go ahead and log back into Windows 11. My VM is now successfully updated to 22H2 on unsupported hardware. Once you've spent some time with the update and you're satisfied you won't need to roll back, you can delete the old Windows installation by right-clicking the Start button and going to Settings, Storage. Click the Temporary Files option, then check the box next to Previous Windows Installations to select it and click Remove Files. If we navigate to File Explorer, we'll see that on the root of the C drive there's a Windows.old folder that's being deleted. After a few minutes, the Windows.old folder will be removed and you'll reclaim about 8GB of space. 